So the, uh, you touched on it now, the current situation, the travesty going on on the border with a lot of youth coming from Honduras and Guatemala, et cetera. What is your view on that current situation? And importantly, what could be a solution there? Um, there's no solution. I mean, if there were a solution, it would have been solved. Uh, uh, it's a, going to be a combination of things. Um, it's going to be a uh, better uh, uh, and more expedited, efficient handling of the cases um, uh, that arise, recognizing that uh, illegal um, or undocumented um, immigrants from uh, those three countries are uh, have different rights uh, as part of a uh, a law that was passed at the end of the Bush administration. Um, uh, so it's going to be more resources at the border to mm -hmm. actually process the cases and mm -hmm. move them through. Uh, it's ha going to have to require more in the way of humanitarian assistance for the children um, so that they are not uh, kept longer than longer than absolutely necessary, but certainly no longer than 72 hours um, in, you know, in a Border Patrol holding facility. They're really, actually, there's a place for them to go uh, and a place um, for them uh, where they'd be safe mm -hmm. and secure, well-fed, well-nourished, et cetera. Um, so that's going to be part of it. Part of it's going to require those countries to do more, uh, to send the message uh, that um, people will uh, be returned. Um, they will not be entitled to legal status in the United States. Um, and we need more help there. Uh, and I think we need to work with the governments of those countries in terms of gang violence and drug trafficking and so forth. There are things we can do that would improve the situation. Um, but it will have to be a whole array of things because, again, if there were an easy or simple solution, it would have been done already. It would have been handled.